Whatever happened to Larry Leanville? Frank Burns from TV's M Asterisk ASH. Larry Leanville was born Lawrence Levon Leanville on September 29, 1939, in Ojai, California, USA, to Faye Pauline and Harry Levon Leanville. He grew up in Sacramento, California and attended El Camino High School. After attending the University of Colorado Boulder where he studied aeronautical engineering, Leanville applied for a scholarship to study performing arts at Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He was one of the three Americans to receive the scholarship. After studying at Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London, Larry Leanville returned to the United States where he started his acting career. He joined the Barter Theatre in Abingdon, Virginia, and started performing on stage shows under the tutelage of the founder of Barter Theatre, director Robert Hufford Porterfield. From October 31, 1967 to March 2, 1968, he played Joel Harford in Eugene O'Neill's stage play More Stately Mansions at Broadhurst Theatre. Directed by Yosh Quintero and produced by Elliot Martin, the play had Ingrid Bergman, Colleen Dewhurst, and Arthur Hill playing important roles. He made his television debut in 1968 when he was cast to play Paul in one of the episodes of NBC Network's daytime soap opera The Doctors. In the same year, he made his film debut when he played a minor role in Harvey Hart-directed drama film The Sweet Ride. In 1968, he was also seen on ABC Network's legal drama series Judd for the Defense. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Leanville played minor roles in TV series, such as The Outsider, Bonanza, Room 222, Here Come the Brides, and The Young Rebels. From 1968 to 1970, he played George Kramer in the popular TV series Mannix. In 1971, he played Walters in Buzz Kulik-directed TV movie Vanished. In the same year, he was also seen in Jack Lemmon-directed comedy-drama film Koch. He received his breakthrough role in 1972 when he was cast to play Major Frank Burns in the popular TV series MASH. He played the role from 1972 to 1977, appearing in 120 episodes. When his five-year contract expired at the end of the fifth season, Leanville was asked to renew his contract for two more seasons. However, he declined the offer saying that he had taken the character as far as he could. While playing Frank Burns in MASH, he also played various other characters in series like Adam-12, The Sixth Sense, Search Control, and Kolchak, The Night Stalker. In 1977, he played Dr. Jim Storm in James Burroughs' directed TV movie calling Dr. Storm, M.D. From 1978 to 1979, he played Major General Kevin Kelly on NBC Network's comedy-drama television series Grandpa Goes to Washington. In 1979, he played Carlin in a couple of episodes of the popular TV series Chips. In the same year, he also played Jack in William Asher-directed TV movie A Christmas for Boomer. From 1980 to 1982, he played various roles in a television series titled Fantasy Island. In 1982, he was seen playing Randy Bigelow in four episodes of CBS Network's situational comedy series Herbie, The Love Bug. In 1984, he was cast to play Grayson Carr in six episodes of ABC Network's primetime soap opera Paper Dolls. Leanville returned to the stage in 1984 when he played an important role in Sam Bobrick's play Murder at the Howard Johnson's. In 1988, he played Glenn Cooper in Neil Simon's stage play Rumors. Directed by Gene Sachs, the play had Christine Baranski, Andre Gregory, and Ken Howard playing prominent roles. In 1988, he was also seen in movies, such as Earth Girls Are Easy and Blue Movies. The following year, he played Dr. Jewell in David Irving-directed science fiction film CHUD. 2. Bud the Chud. In 1991, he played Principal McGree in Deborah Brock-directed musical film Rock and Roll High School Forever. 
From October 1994 to January 1995, Leanville was seen in Sam Bobrick and Gene's play Weekend Comedy in which he played Frank. The play was staged at the New Theater Restaurant in Kansas. Meanwhile, he continued appearing in TV series throughout the late 1990s. Ted Bessel was married five times and had only daughter named Kelly Leanville who went on to become a unit still photographer. Sadly, on April 10, 2000, Larry Leanville passed away in New York City due to complications related to a surgery which he had undergone in February 1998. His mortal remains were cremated and the ashes were scattered in the sea. Goodbye Larry Leanville.